Hey everyone, it's Big Man Ben. Hope everyone's doing well and everyone's having a nice Saturday. Um, just chilling this morning. Um, I'm just just tired, had a long week. Um, but the one thing I wanted to do this weekend is I wanted to do the answers to the questions I received. And I want to thank everyone that did send me questions. And I'm sorry that it took so long for me to do this, but I wanted to make sure I did it right. And I hope everyone enjoys it. So I'm just going to go through them. Um, it's going to be a straightforward video, no edits or anything. And I uh, hope everyone enjoys this. Uh, start with the first question, which is from Connor Kaiser. And he asks, what's your favorite Stephen King novel and film? Uh, favorite Stephen King novel and film is Salem's Lot. Um, I've read the novel three times. I've seen the movie a thousand times, or the miniseries that was directed by Toby Hooper. Been to the town where they filmed it. I actually proposed to my wife in the town where they filmed it, and we actually even spent our honeymoon in that town. So we've been to Ferndale, California, where they shot Salem's Lot. I'm going to say, I think, four times. Yeah, we went there in 2001, 2003, when we got married, which was almost ten years ago. Um, it'll be 10 years this October. Um, we went there in 2005, 2005, and then 2009. So, yeah, we've been there four times, and we're planning to go back soon. So, um, yeah, it's a real fun town. The next time I do go back, I'm going to do video footage of the town, and I'll try to sort of do some of the shots from the film and everything. So, it'll be fun. Uh, thanks for the question. I appreciate it. Uh, Arkham Knight 84 sent me several questions, so I'm going to read each one that he sent me. Um... So he asked, if you could go back in time and visit any movie set you wanted and experience the behind the scenes with the actors and director, which movie would you pick? Um, I think for that one, I'd probably pick Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. Um, and the reason I say that is because uh, Psycho is one of my favorite movies ever. And I've always been fascinated by the house and the motel set. I actually have been to Universal Studios several times. And I'm very tempted to go to Vancouver and look at the replica of the house and motel that they built for the Bates Motel series. I'm just a fascinated with that set for some reason. I don't know why. When I was a kid, I just thought it was so cool. Even though it was, you know, a scary movie, I thought it was so cool that there was a, this big Victorian creepy house in this little motel that was down below. I just thought it was odd and unique looking. And, and I'm just a big fan of Hitchcock. Love Anthony Perkins, one of my favorite actors of all time. Um, never got a chance to meet the actor, unfortunately. Love uh, Janet Lee, And, uh, you know, just... Yeah, I would really love to go back in time and be on that set because I know it was a... It was a very private set, and I know Hitchcock didn't allow, you know, it was it was sort of like a secret, uh, what he was filming. He was trying to keep everything under wraps. I know he had, like, people buy up copies of the Psycho novel so that no one would know, like, actually what was going on and, you know, how the ending of the film was and everything. I mean, I think it'd just be really fun to be on that set. So, good question, Arkham. Um, and then I'll answer the next questions he asked me. Um, he asked me, uh, have I ever seen the Stephen King movie called The Night Flyer? And if so, what did I think about it? I saw the Night Flyer probably 15 years ago. or I got, It was on HBO or Showtime, I remember, because I love Miguel Ferrer. And uh, I actually saw him once live in uh, the House of Blues in um, Los Angeles, uh, right by Universal Studios. Um, he was playing in a band called The Radiators. And I was so cool because I saw him, I was like, oh, that's Miguel Ferrer. And uh, I've always been a fan of him, so yeah, I saw The Night Flyer because of him, but I had also read the short story in uh, Nightmares and Dreamscapes, and I really liked the story because it was a vampire story, and of course, you know, Salem's Lot being my favorite Stephen King movie and story, I, I was actually excited that he had written another vampire story. But yeah, I have seen the movie, and I really liked it from what I can remember of it, and I've always been looking for it. I don't know if it ever came out on Blu-ray or DVD, but it is one that I would like to pick up eventually. I did like the movie. Um... And the next question is, have I ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? I probably have. Um, it probably was so intense, though, that I, I probably don't remember. <laughs> I probably blocked it out or something. But I think I have a time or two. Um, and then he had one more question for me. Or actually, several more. Uh, what made me a horror fan? Um, what made me a horror fan? Um, my grandmother, actually, is one of my biggest influences on horror. That might sound silly, but... Uh, when I was a kid, my mother doesn't like horror films, and neither did my grandfather. My dad really didn't either. Um, no one really in my family likes horror. Uh, my uncle is petrified of horror films. Ever since he saw The Exorcist, he, he refused to watch them. He's 18 years older than me, so when he saw it, it was like, you know, it just been released, and it just terrified him. Um, my grandmother always liked... She got me into, like, the holiday of Halloween. One of my first pictures that they ever took of me, um, I'm, standing, I'm sitting next to this jack-o'-lantern, and I'm smiling and happy, and... I just remember um, just in loving Halloween, 
And then she's actually the one that watched Salem's Lot and told my mom and I to watch it. Now, when I watched Salem's Lot for the first time, I was five. And it scared the living shit out of me. Um, but she's the one that, like, she loved the movie Halloween. She was a big fan of Donald Pleasance and Dr. Loomis. And she's the reason I, I love those movies so much. And she's the reason I think that I love uh, Salem's Lot and that I got involved in more horror. Things that terrified me as a kid. The original Halloween and Salem's Lot were two of the scariest movies I can remember growing up. And then I just got into it, and my mom always thought I was strange for liking the stuff I did, but my grandmother always just treated me like a normal kid, and I always respected her for that. She's great. She's a great woman. She's still alive. She's going to be 94 this September, and she's just the best, and I love her very much, and uh, we still talk about horror stuff. She's just she's just awesome. Uh, the next question was, what was the horror movie that scared the piss out of you? Salem's Lot scared the piss out of me, because um, I was five when I saw it. That movie scared me, and I remember Friday the 13th Final Chapter really scaring me, as well as Halloween. Those movies really scared me as a kid. Um, I didn't see The Exorcist until I was a lot older. Um, I was probably 16 or 17, so I could handle that. Um, but, yeah, and The Shining. I remember The Shining commercial, the TV commercial, because I was six when that movie came out. And I just remember the commercial just had Jack Nicholson peering kind of up after he, had in, this, in the movie, had killed somebody. And, he, and I just remember that image just terrified me. And I hadn't even seen the movie. I didn't see The Shining movie until I was in my late teens. So, yeah, that, that traumatized me. Who is your favorite horror director? Oh, wow, that's tough. I don't know if I have... I have so many that I respect. Um, a director I really respect now is Adam Green. I really like Adam Green. Um... He's probably one of my favorites. John Carpenter is one of my favorites, especially his early work. I love Halloween, The Fog, The Thing. Um, just those are three great films right there. Um, I really like, um, even though he hasn't done complete horror, um, I like Frank Darabont. I love The Mist. I think that's one of the best horror films ever made, one of the best Stephen King adaptions ever made. Um, Alfred Hitchcock, I'm a huge fan of Alfred Hitchcock. Um, love, I know he technically only did two horror films, you know, The Birds and Psycho, but big fan of those films, um, especially Psycho. Um, God, that's tough. Favorite horror director? Hmm. I, I just don't think I have one. I have so many that I like. Um, I love Wes Craven. Um, you know, I just, th there's so many horror directors that I love, I really can't pick one, unfortunately, but I have several that I really respect. Um, let's see. Next question. I'm actually going to make this a two-parter, so stay tuned for the part two. Thanks, guys.